So the next three days we're going to visit the city, go around places, huh. get a feel of it. Get a flavor of some of the things that make Abu Dhabi special. special. The structure is just so stunning. So Joe's house is very international, but the food is very desi. Yes. Uh, some poha and, and blueberries. Blueberries. Yes. <laughs> Shri is all set for a day. Yeah. Another beautiful day. Another beautiful day. This is the Al Bahar uh, Dars of Abu Dhabi. Quite famous uh, in Abu Dhabi. Two thousand umbrella-like elements. They change with the setting and uh, rising of the sun. What's beautiful is the juxtaposition of the traditional and the modern, right? Yes. Hi folks, we're in Abu Dhabi. Just got to Abu Dhabi from London yesterday. And of course, the boss is here with me and also a very dear friend of ours, Jyoti Dogra Bakshi. Uh, and uh, they say when you're in Abu Dhabi, you have to visit the Grand Mosque. The Grand Mosque. And that's our first stop out here in Abu Dhabi and that's where we are. Jyoti and her husband, Saurabh Bakshi, are very dear friends of ours from India who are now based out of Abu Dhabi. So we're really looking forward to spending time with them. So you will definitely see a lot more of Jyoti <laughs> in our Abu Dhabi vlogs. So Joe, what's, what's nice about Abu Dhabi? What makes Abu Dhabi special for you? I think the people and the culture. Okay. Very special. And it's also home away from home. So you don't really feel you're out of India, but you are. Huh. Uh, so that kind of uh, makes it very uh, nice to stay. Huh. And it's a beautiful city. If you come for the rest of the winters, it's uh, it's beautiful season. The outdoors are amazing. The food is amazing. Huh. Uh, people are great. Uh, music, the Arabic music is amazing. So, huh. uh, you're in for a treat with a lot of things. So. Yeah, it's, it's great. So the next three days, we're going to visit the city, go around places, huh. get a feel of it. Get a flavor of some of the things that make Abu Dhabi special. special. And like Joe said, when you walk around here, I think you can hear a lot of Hindi everywhere. Of you can also hear some Malayalam. Yes. And uh, so it basically gives you a sense that you're back home in India. Uh, it would be like, okay, you're not really uh, away from home. Uh. You have the Hindi FM channels, you have people talking in Hindi. A lot of Arabs also understand a lot of Hindi. Uh. Uh, so it's kind of uh, the second language probably. Fantastic. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a small little India. Whatever I'm capturing on my phone doesn't do justice to the sheer magnificence of this structure. It is what you see in the pictures. And of course, when you come here, you got to keep in mind that this is a mosque. So you have to adhere to... Uh... So for example, uh, Shri had to cover her hands all the way. Uh, you know, and uh, you got to make sure that you're wearing a full... You cover your head, you cover, cover your, head, hands and your hands and your legs. And your legs. The structure is just so stunning. From the minarets, the dome, and the arches with the gold work on the pillars. The scale of it is quite astonishing.
not sure, but I think the pillars denote date palms, if I'm not mistaken. This is truly really the sort of experience that leaves you awestruck. I thought that chandelier that I looked at in the outer foyer was amazing, but this one is breathtaking. So there's also the prayer room that is there here. When you come to Abu Dhabi, definitely visit Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. It will leave you. I'm not kidding, breathless. Amazing triumph of architecture and spirituality. Where are we going, Joe? We are going to Daikin. So we also have to do a nice Emirati meal, but I thought that today, I thought we'll do that in the daytime because I can then film most of it. So this is just like a casual evening out to taste some ramen and hopefully a few other things. And we are at Yas Bay. Yes, we are at Yas Bay and going to Daikin. So we are also staying with Jo right across the bay at uh, her place. And so we are also enjoying our hospitality. Okay. You need to try the pickled cucumbers. Let's do the edamame as well. Yes, of course, the grilled edamame. Yeah. The miso aubergines, uh. the tatsui chili bar, and you go to the ramen. Uh. Uh, we'll go with the spicy miso Spice. vegetarian. Kimchi and the grilled uh, spicy edamame. The chicken bao. Mm. Katsu chicken bao. I think it's phenomenal. Mm. It's like a chicken tempura in a bao. Yes. This is good. So that's a vegetarian ramen. Yes. The miso vegetarian ramen. You have to slurp your ramen. Very unladylike. That's the way to eat a ramen. Good ramen. Miso aubergine. Miso aubergine. It looks so blah. And then it has so much flavor. I wonder how they do it. Like, I don't know how they do it. This is superb. Mm. The ramen bowls look big. So we just did a 3 by 2 uh, What I like is uh, the texture of the noodle. It's got a bit of a chew to it. Huh? It's not completely. There's some corn in that. Yeah, there's corn, there's bok choy, huh. uh, there's a lot of miso, huh. and a good spicy one that I asked for. So, so I've helped myself to the broth from both the bowls. So. Jyoti's bowl has extra spice, Shri's bowl is normally spiced, so I think my spice level is somewhere in between. Let's hitting the spot. I think the produce that they use here is also very good. Yeah. So you can see that in the prawn, the flavor of the prawn. Especially the seafood here. Mm. With the ports nearby, Persian Gulf. That was a lovely uh, meal at Daikin, at Yas Bay. Of course, it's a very upmarket sort of a, a space. So. The experience is upmarket and uh, therefore also the pricing etc. But uh, that is what uh, 
Yas Bay is all about. Uh, the food was very good, exceptional in fact, especially the miso aubergine, the prawns were good as well, nice, smoky, a bit spicy. The ramen was very good too. Quite a contrast from our uh, visit to uh, Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. But I guess that's what uh, Abu Dhabi is all about. It's got culture, it's got great food. That's what we've explored thus far. And of course, a lot more. We were right at the second pier end. So that is the Etihad Arena, the brown structure there. That's right. Okay. So this island is the entertainment island. Theme parks, water parks, uh, the biggest mall, uh, Yas Mall. Yeah, all the hotels and like, like the Yas Island itself is just like a destination. You can just be there and you will be sorted for a good two, three days. And you have a, you have a beautiful view of all of that. Huh? Uh, look at this. And today what's the plan? Today's the plan to go to Nina Fort. Okay. Uh, and also to see the Lumpur. So we have a packed day I think. So Joe's house is very international but the food is very desi. Yes. Uh, some poha and... And the blueberries. Blueberries. Yes. <laughs> she is all set for a day. Yeah. Another beautiful day. Another beautiful day. Today of course uh, Shri is feeling a lot more uh, khula khula as opposed to the visit yesterday. <laughs> Uh, both of them yeah. were uh, looking like Mohtarmas. Wrapped up. Uh? Yeah. Uh, it's culturally important for them, so we all should respect that. Correct. And I feel like even in India we do it with the temples. Me and Sri were discussing it. Temples, we have certain rules to do. Hmm. So I think it's perfectly it's perfect. well. And it's good to have certain rules at places of worship. Yeah. It's very important that the focus should be uh, the spirituality or the godliness uh, rather than any other, anything else. Correct. So in fact it's mesmerizing. I mean right from the overall architecture of the place to you know those detailing like for example those chandeliers right. Yes. So there are about seven chandeliers. I was just reading about them and these chandeliers were made in Germany. The biggest one weighs about 12 tons. The smallest one weighs about seven or eight tons each. And it's studded with stones, Swarovski crystals, and also a whole lot of gold. And uh, then, of course, they also have the world's largest uh, carpet, right? Yes. And the other thing that I really liked about the place is the fact that they embrace humanity. See, I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, where you come from, what background, what religion, what nationality, everyone is welcome to explore the mosque. It's a place of spirituality, it's a place of peace, it's a place that brings people together in a resplendent sort of a setting. So if you're in Abu Dhabi, you must definitely visit the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. Ahmed bhai, picked us up from the airport also. Where are you from, Ahmed bhai? Yeah, I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan, se ho. wonderful. And how many years you here? चौदह साल से यहाँ पे driving बहुत मजा आता होगा काफी smooth है roads सारे यहाँ के जी आप actually अभी किसी को भी यहाँ पे UAE में आना तो कहते मैं दुबई जाऊँगा हाँ तो दुबई और अबू धाबी में ऐसा है कि ये एक बिल्कुल quiet city है यहाँ पे drive का मैं कहता हूँ सबसे अच्छा experience रहा है मेरा okay ये just change हुआ है अभी तकरीबन within four months okay इससे पहले ये highway one twenty का था and what's also nice is the progression of the speed limits. So 120 as you come closer to the city, 100 or city? 100. 100. So it kind of it varies depending on how far you are from the city. And street area 40, 60. Okay, within the city? Yes. So where are we going now, Joe? Uh, we are going to take a nice long drive, uh, look at Corniche, which is like the city aside for Abu Dhabi, downtown, and then uh, we will also be looking around the Emirates Palace. It's hot, so walking around is not really a very good option. Uh, so we'll take a nice drive down, see the entire city, and then we go to the Mina Port. Uh, so the Mina Port is um, 
where you also have restaurants and the fresh produce so you can pick the produce you can actually the, the restaurants also serve the fresh produce oh wonderful um, seafood uh, in traditional egyptian emirati style uh, uh, food is what we are going to look for today the one thing about these roads here and this we observed also the last time we were in uh, dubai ekdam makhan jaisa hai ये तो भाई अब उधर भी में जो भी गाड़ी नई रिलीज हुई है जैसे मर्सिडीज है उनमें एक नया फीचर यहाँ पे अभी मुशारफ कराया कि लाइन चेंज अगर आप भी फर्ज जैसे हम कम्युनिकेशन बात कर रहे हैं जी अगर हमारा फोकस नहीं है जी जैसे वाइल्ड लाइन पे आएगा स्ट्रेन खुद बहुत लिफ्ट ले लेगा ये आवाज देगा बिप ऑन हो जाएगी ये किया है और ओवरटेकिंग यहाँ लेफ्ट से होता है ना लेफ्ट से बिकॉज एवरीबडी द पर्सन ड्राइविंग सेट्स ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो इट्स लाइक अमेरिका इन दैट सेंस सो ज्यादातर लोग मैं देखा कि देर नो हॉन्ग हॉन नहीं करते हैं यहाँ पर नो हॉन को सख्ती से मना किया है हाँ जी यही हमारा हॉर्न है Uh, but it's quite famous uh, in Abu Dhabi in terms of its architecture and the way it's designed. I think it's about 29 stories and uh, 2,000 umbrella-like elements. They change with the setting and uh, rising of the sun. Oh really? Yes. So that keeps it cool. Yes. Oh, I see. Some of them are open. Some of yes. them are closed. So though. it's like a computer-controlled facade or something. Ah. And uh, it kind of. Works around with the sun. This is pretty iconic for Abu Dhabi. Uh, oh, I think it's in the Guinness Book of World Records also for uh, the kind of structure that it is. I think that's the thing of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and all that. Jo bhi kar rahe hain ekdam hatke, hatke. Sabse bada, aise. Sabse, sabse impressionable. Ki banda dekhe bolle kaise banaya ye. Huh? That is a big thing out here. So whatever you do, do it grand. I think that's a city that's focused on. Um, making life better for its citizens and those who visit there's always a constant state of development and i think what's interesting is that it all synergizes right so whether it's the roads whether it's the trains or something else everything kind of comes together there's a harmony in the various aspects in the various uh, modes at work we are now going towards zayed port and corniche joy to drive on these roads oh yeah yeah uh, you have all these fancy cars you know and then it's worthwhile because you can take them uh, on a sorty so to say uh, you, know, and drive. you can do justice to these cars these are smooth beautiful roads that you can drive on but if you like things a little rough and especially given the number of suvs that they have in this country you can also venture out of the city and uh, get into the desert and do some dune bashing We don't have the time and the bandwidth this time to do that, but uh, hopefully I'll return someday and also indulge a bit in that activity. So this side, like this is uh, the coronation. So on this side you have like the beautiful blue sea. This side is a complete like business district. Okay. You know, so from Abu Dhabi chambers to all the ministries and so on and so forth. So the best weather here, uh, Joe, is uh, between November to I would. say april november to april yeah. so that's when it's cold and yeah nice and cold and of course march april uh, become more sunny huh. uh, but uh, november december jan And you also have the wind, right? Which yes. quite a bit of wind here. Yeah. Yeah. So of course now we are in uh, September early, so it's in the temperatures in the forties. Yeah. And uh, almost touching the fifties. Almost mm -hmm. touching the fifties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fixes. Oh wow, that looks very similar to the Atlantis in the Bahamas. That's the flag of the UAE. 
What's beautiful is the juxtaposition of the traditional and the modern, right? Yes. King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud Street. Uh, I think the Fast and Furious ka yeah, shoot ka this one. Uh, where the seven uh, one car eight towers se uh, tower pe leke chale gaye the old Wendy's and oh, these this Conrad Grand Hyatt this Babar Al Kasar Hotel. That's the Emirates Palace. This is Kasar Al Watan. I think just the scale of it all is quite incredible. Huh? Yeah. But it's the palace, the hotels, yeah. everything. But like you said, um, when they want to build something, any structures or anything, they want it to be like you know phenomenal, magnificent. Yeah. The top, the bow. Yeah. I mean, some kind of standards and benchmarks, you know. And I think that's the image that uh, yes. these countries want to portray. Yes. The one of grandeur. Yes. So they want you to come here, look at all of this, take this in, and be mesmerized by it. And all this is mostly funded by what the government, or so they are responsible for everything that happens, all development. I did not know this uh, till I actually was reading up that Abu Dhabi is the capital of UAE. So up until now, it's been very low profile, and let's say most people know about Dubai. I think it's more understated. It's not probably as glitzy. As a Dubai yeah, is, yeah. yeah, it's not as bling, let's say, yeah. as Shri said at the back, yeah. as a Dubai is. Salads, aubergines, uh, but you know, fish in some parts of Europe is considered vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> Today, you are European vegetarian. <laughs> mm, I love that sweet and sour of that. Yeah. All the food, not many spices or not 